Hi, it's Nick Astor at the 2014 Fortune Brainstorm Green Conference in Laguna Niguel, California. I'm excited to be joined by Heiner Markoff. You are the CEO of GE Water and Process Technologies. That is correct. Um, now, water is becoming, you know, it's, it's the big new resource issue that yeah. people are concerned about. In your words, give us an idea of what the scope of the water issue is. Well, you know, it's a big issue, but, right? But, but but I think the in, in in very simple terms, water is a finite resource, mm -hmm. and demand is outstripping and outgrowing supply. So we got to be very smart with this finite resource because it's a prerequisite for growth, for population growth, for urbanization, and for industrialization, and for you know advancement of our society. So we got to come up with, uh, with uh, measures to conserve, to reuse, and be really smart with, with how we deal with water, be it you know, addressing water scarcity, water quality, and um, all the environmental aspects that come into play. So a few, a few paths that I can think of involving technology that can help us, right? We've got conservation, uh, we've got presumably the ability, ability to reuse or recycle right. water, uh, we've got the desalinization issue. Are those sort of the main three uh, ways out there that we can help get ourselves out of a pickle when it comes to water? Well, con uh, cons uh, uh, water conservation is, is definitely a big thing. The other is, uh, you know, is, is desalination. Mm -hmm. The third, and which which we are very very much uh, uh, involved in, is is water reuse. Yeah, mm -hmm. and reusing wastewater, not just the, the you know the typical you know toilet to tap discussion, but really using wastewater as a as a resource in mm -hmm. industrial processes. Uh, making you know wastewater clean in it uh, f uh, and making it available for agricultural purposes, for irrigation, for for uh, uh, recharge of aquifers, um, and even uh, develop closed loop systems in industrial settings, so that uh, you basically have a zero liquid discharge in in, uh, in you know in, in industrial operations. So mm -hmm. so it's really being smart with this resource is using wastewater as a as a resource, not as something, not as something you want to, you want to dis, uh, discharge. Can you share some examples about how GE technology is accomplishing that in any of those settings that you mentioned, and how you would go about measuring it? I.e., you know, examples where we've gone to zero waste or close to zero waste yes. of water. No, we we we've developed and we're implementing uh, and selling zero liquid discharge systems both in in power plants, in you know in. Uh, in oil and gas industries, um, we just built some plants in in, in Australia in cold seam gas fields where where uh, where we clean up the water that's being produced with with gas production and make it available for agriculture. So there's a vast uh, you know, amount of different industries where you can think about reusing wastewater in a in an economic way and in a in a in a beneficial way. And do you have goals as an organization um, or goals that you work on with your customers when you when somebody approaches you and says we want to recycle 50% of our water use or, or something like that? And do you uh, translate those goals into your overall sustainability goals as a company in terms of the kind of impact that you can have on on that water resource? Or is that too generic a question? I'm well, I think sure. well, we're in the business of water, right? We're in the business to make money. We're part of a, you know, we, we have shareholders. We're part of mm -hmm. a big corporation, so we got to think about how do we, how do we do good while you know while you know serving you know shareholders, and we work with our customers and look at their challenges and and uh, you know, the best way to drive sustainability is always when you can also show an economic benefit. Mm -hmm. So by doing this, by reusing wastewater, by saving energy, you know, by reducing their overall water footprint, footprint by improving operations. That's how we work with our customers to to make you know to have impact on the bottom line, and be sustainable uh, sustainable and achieve a sustainability goal. Mm -hmm. And I guess last question: any numbers that you can share in terms of you know the 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 overall impact that you've had in the past year or several years in terms of uh, water conservation? Um, I, I don't have a gallon number. Right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> but uh, but we have uh, we, we are active all over you know in, in, on a global scale all over the world, and um, and we've uh, we've uh, uh, developed a lot of wastewater treatment system 
desalination systems and built them with partners uh, and generate uh, you know, millions of gallons and billions of gallons of, of water, uh, be, be it either on the wastewater treatment side or uh, on the on the desalination side, fresh water side, drinking water side. So our our technologies are applied, you know, around the world on a global scale, and uh, uh, we uh, we think we have a you know, pretty significant impact on on the overall water equation in the world. Good to hear it. Thank you very much for your time, Peter. Thank you very much. Nick.